All right. So I ended up having a couple of boxes come today, which um, I knew at least one of them was coming. But. So I'm going to start with this one. It's from the uh, Dead End Toys Company, something that I had bid on. So I'm going to try and not make a mess here. That was simple enough not to do. So, what we have here... Is the Dracula Living Dead doll. Hmm. Pretty cool. I have a couple of these. You know, there's a little bit of mix on the bottom of the box here that doesn't look the greatest. Um, however, I guess it's not terrible, but um, still looks pretty cool. I only have like one or two of these right now. I used to have a couple more, but no longer do. But cool thing to add to the collection. So happy to have that. Move on to the next box here. <clears throat> this one was um, off of eBay through GalaxyCon. I uh, have never really been a packing can of person. I just stuck with bubble wrap, but uh, it's definitely interesting. So, and paper. So, I'm going to start with the item on the bottom because the item that's on top here is the one that I want to save for last because it's my. Oh, this might be a little bit harder to avoid the packing peanut fiasco here. And then, let alone the cats are down here. One cat's down here, so he's going to have a heyday with the packing peanuts. Okay, managed to have minimal packing peanut splatter. So, going to start with this one first. A package inside a package inside another package. So this one has the GalaxyCon COA, and it's of Dante Bosco, who played Rufio in Hook. It's my second favorite character of the movie, and that movie <clears throat> is one of my favorites of all time. It also has a special connection in, to me as well, because it was my first movie I ever saw in the theater. So my favorite Robin Williams movie as well and this is a really cool addition to my collection so I'm excited to have that. Now the next item I was really really excited to find because
because I've been trying to look for him. No way have I been able to meet this actor, but I've been trying to look for one of these for a while. Um, first off, it's a uh, Funko Pop. And I have the Funko Pop of this character, so I'll be you know, finding a scene with a friend of mine wants to have the one that I don't have signed. Or the one that I have that's not signed, um, give it to a friend of mine or something. But I've been looking for one of these signed for a while and been seeing the price of them like three hundred dollars and three hundred and something dollars, and I thought it was really insane because the actor only charges sixty dollars to get an autograph from in person at a convention. So, um, and we haven't been lucky enough to have him at a convention out here, and I got a feeling that even though the conventions out here this year are the two that I mainly go to are months away as well um, I have a feeling that they may or may not happen this year so fingers crossed that they do but anyways <clears throat> it is a Michael Rosenbaum signed Lex Luthor pop from Smallville with the white suit and gun I have the pop, but I don't have it signed. It's also JSA certified as well, and JSA sticker. But very excited to add this to my collection. I don't have as many signed pops as a lot of people do, and I'm not um, into a lot of some things that people end up collecting the pops for because of the fact that they have a lot of them like. I'm not huge into anime, but I have my select ones. But I was really excited to add this to my collection. I have, I think, only one more, I believe only one more item coming in the mail anytime soon. So that'll be here tomorrow or Saturday. Stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and see you next time.